Ukraine's air defense forces successfully intercepted and destroyed two newly identified Russian Shahid-style drones during a coordinated aerial attack, as reported by the Sternenko Community Foundation. These unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, representing an evolved variant of the Iranian-origin Shahid series operated by Russia, incorporate significant hardware and software upgrades. Most notably, the drones utilize avionics and navigation components manufactured by China's CUAV technology. A commercial supplier known for sophisticated UAV flight controllers, GNSS modules, integrated navigation systems, airspeed sensors, and multiband antennas. This integration reveals a calculated Russian tactic of enhancing foreign drone platforms with off the shelf commercial electronics from third party countries. Such a hybrid approach allows Moscow to bypass international export restrictions while elevating operational capabilities on the battlefield. The Shahid drones retain their hallmark delta wing design with a rear mounted propeller powered by a small gasoline engine, cruising steadily at speeds between 150 and 180 km per hour. They carry warheads weighing approximately 30 to 40 kilograms, potent enough to inflict considerable damage on strategic infrastructure targets. However, the real leap forward lies in the upgraded avionic suite. Quav's advanced multi constellation GNSS receiver taps into GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, and Galileo satellite systems ensuring resilient positioning even under intense electronic interference. The drone's autopilot system appears to be based on Quav's Pixhawk high-integration flight controller, granting capabilities such as adaptive route corrections, terrain following at altitudes as low as 60 meters, and seamless fallback to inertial navigation when satellite signals are lost. Enhanced airspeed measurements via PTO tubes and redundant inertial measurement units, IMUs, contribute to improved flight stability and endurance, potentially extending the drone's range beyond 1,200 kilometers when flown using optimized profiles. From a tactical perspective, these avionics improvements grant Russian forces enhanced navigation resilience in contested airspace, enabling complex, pre-programmed flight paths designed to exploit gaps in Ukrainian radar coverage and evade missile defenses. The drone's increased stability facilitates low-altitude flight with reduced oscillation, complicating detection and tracking efforts. When deployed in swarms, such precision flying can overwhelm air defense systems, increasing the likelihood of some drones reaching their intended targets. Moreover, the upgraded Shahid drones demonstrate improved targeting accuracy, allowing for precision strikes on critical assets like ammunition dumps, radar arrays, and bridges. This marks a shift from indiscriminate barrage attacks to more surgical engagements. The same avionics technology could also support roles in reconnaissance or electronic warfare, enabling prolonged loitering and enhanced sensor deployment. Analysis of recovered debris suggests these drones are assembled using Iranian structural parts, Russian propulsion components, and imported electronics sourced through complex supply chains. Quav's products, while commercially available, face export controls when destined for military use, hinting at the involvement of intermediary firms and third-country transit hubs. This complex procurement network enables rapid manufacturing cycles and iterative upgrades, mirroring commercial drone industry practices. Ukraine's successful interception highlights the ongoing evolution of its layered air defense system, which integrates early warning radars, mobile short-range air defense vehicles, man-portable missile systems, and electronic warfare units designed to disrupt UAV command and control. Counter-drone radars optimized to detect slow, low-flying targets feed automatic targeting data to air defense weapons, enhancing interception rates against mass drone attacks. Nevertheless, Ukrainian officials warn that Russia's continual enhancements necessitate ongoing defensive innovation. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has increasingly relied on UAVs for intelligence gathering, targeting, and precision strikes, with rapid replacement of losses through intensified production and foreign sourcing. This drone-centric warfare of attrition uses expendable aerial platforms to gradually degrade enemy capabilities. The Shahid remains a cost-effective long-range weapon for Russia, with Chinese avionics upgrades offsetting Ukrainian countermeasures and battlefield attrition. Ukraine's preemptive drone interceptions are crucial both for safeguarding infrastructure and denying Russia valuable combat data for future upgrades. On a strategic level, this incident underscores a growing global challenge, how states under heavy sanctions adapt their arsenals by integrating civilian technology into military platforms. The CUAV avionics, though technically commercial, significantly boost drone lethality and survivability. This fusion of civilian and military tech complicates enforcement of export controls and may prompt NATO and allied nations to seek tighter regulations on UAV-related electronics. Meanwhile, the battlefield dynamic remains a fast-paced cycle of technological adaptation and counteradaptation, with innovation timelines compressed to weeks rather than years.